acute bromyelocytic leukemia. First, we're going to give you a small introduction about leukemia in general. Leukemia is a type of cancer of blood or bone marrow characterized by an abnormal increase of immature white blood cells. There are two main types of leukemia, myeloid and lymphoid leukemia. Our subject is a type of myeloid leukemia which can be classified in two ways, WHO classification and FAB classification. WHO classification, classified according to the genetic abnormalities, acute promyelocytic leukemia with translocation in chromosome 15 at the long arm at locus 22 with chromosome 17 long arm at locus 12. PML slash RAR alpha and variants. FAB classification. FAB classification is a morphological classification which classify acute myeloid leukemia into eight categories and acute lymphoblastic leukemia into three categories. Now we come to the eight types of acute myeloid leukemia. M0, poorly differentiated, M1, without maturation, M2, with maturation, M3, hypergranular bromyelocytic, M4, myelomonocytic, M5, has two stages, first stage monoblastic, second stage monocytic, M6, erythroleukemia, M7, megakaryoblastic. Now we come to the acute lymphoblastic leukemia. L1, small monomorphic, L2, large heterogeneous, L3, Perkett cell type. Pathogenesis. Acute promyelocytic leukemia is characterized by chromosomal translocation involving the retinoic acid receptor alpha gene on chromosome 17. In 95% of cases of acute promyelocytic leukemia, retinoic acid receptor alpha gene on chromosome 17 is involved in a reciprocal translocation with the promyelocytic leukemia gene on chromosome 15. A translocation denoted as at chromosome 15 at the long arm of locus 22 with the chromosome 17 at the long arm of locus 21. The RAR receptor is dependent on retinoic acid for regulation of transcription. The fusion of promyelocytic leukemia and RAR creates a hybrid protein with altered functions. This fusion protein binds with enhanced affinity to sites on the cell's DNA blocking transcription and differentiation of granulocytes. Although the chromosomal translocation involving RAR alpha is believed to be initiating the event, additional mutagens are required for the development of leukemia. Acute promyelocytic leukemia most distinguishable trait is the presence of overcoagulopathy at the diagnosis. The bleeding diathesis is due to the enhanced fibrinolytic activity due to annexin 2 overexpression and expression of tissue factor by abnormal promyelocytes. The hypergranular form of acute promyelocytic leukemia features faggot cells. This term is applied to these blast cells because of the presence of numerous hour rods in the cytoplasm. The accumulation of these hour rods gives the appearance of a bundle of sticks from which the red cell derived their name. Now we come to the signs and symptoms of bromyelocytic leukemia. Bromyelocytic leukemia is characterized by fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath due to the anemia. Easy bruising and bleeding are due to thrombocytopenia and coagulopathy. Fever and infection are due to the decrease in the number of white blood cells count. The patient may come with minor abdominal discomfort due to the enlargement of the spleen. Rheumyelocytic leukemia is characterized by rapid increase in the number of immature white blood cells, resulting in rapid progression of malignant cell count and crowding of the bone marrow. This results in very low red blood cell and platelet count, which can cause serious bleeding. Laboratory diagnosis. The blood count Hemoglobin will be low, white blood cells are usually raised, and the platelets are low. In the blood film, we will see blast cells almost invariably. Lineage is identified morphologically and confirmed with immunophenotyping. The bone marrow aspirate will show increased cellularity, reduced erythropoiesis, reduced megakaryocytes, sometimes trilineage dysplasia, 
replacement by blast more than 20%. The lineage confirmation by immunophenotyping, fish, cytogenic, and molecular genetics. Come to the treatment of bromyolocytic leukemia. There are two types of treatment for bromyolocytic leukemia. General treatment, specific treatment. General treatments are done by the avoidance of symptoms of anemia by giving repeated transfusion of packed red cells, prevention or control of the bleeding, treatment of infection. The treatment of the infection is done in mainly in two ways, prophylactically and therapeutically. Now we come to the second type, which is specific treatment. ATRA and APML, all transretinoic acid, causes differentiation of bromyolocytes and rapid reversal of the bleeding tendency. Prognosis. The prognosis after recurrence is quite favorable with prolonged second remissions being possible with further blocks of ATRA and chemotherapy, even if allogenic transplant is not able to be performed, although it is the treatment of choice. So what are the differential diagnoses for promyelocytic leukemia? It can be like acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or acute myelogenous leukemia, aplastic anemia, folic acid deficiency, myelodysplastic syndrome, or peripheral pancytopenia. So this is the end of our presentation. Hopefully you have liked it. It's done by a group of third-year medical students of Omokola University. Thank you for watching.